It's not all the time about what you know. You definitely, when you're in the um, job seeking business, you definitely, definitely need to have a level of competency. A lot of times it's not always what you know, it's who you know. And by who you know, it is very important that you network with people. Keep good relationships with people. Don't burn bridges because you never know when you have to cross that same bridge over again. I'll tell you a story. In 2015, I was contracting for a company and uh, still with AT&T and my direct supervisor at uh, AT&T was a man that I had never met um, in person because I traveled a lot um, and worked from home. So our dealings were always either on the phone or via email or some type of virtual uh, communication. And I'm telling you, this man was very condescending. There was never any praise. There was never any atta girls. Um, and I do understand that when you are working, it is not a popularity contest, nor am I Miss Congeniality, or nor did I expect for anybody to be Mr. or Miss Congeniality. However, I did expect a level of respect as a human being, and that I did not receive. However, I continued to do my job and exceeded expectations and became one of the most requested trainers in my field. And by that, I mean domestically and internationally. I would be personally requested to go to different uh, call centers and train their service reps. So I don't know what he was going through, but we all go through things. And I always, you know, dealt with him with grace, as my mother has always taught me to live peacefully amongst men and women. So that assignment lasted, let's see, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that assignment lasted about, I think maybe four years, four or five years. And I transitioned from uh, one contract agency to another contract agency doing a different job and lo and behold I get an email one day and it was from you know my former supervisor and the services that I provided in that department was a service that he needed and he needed help navigating through the process, uh, the system, you know, filling out forms. And it was just ironic to me that it would be this guy who would now be coming to me for help. And it, it brought a smile to my face because I was so glad that I had never ever disrespected him. I never gave him a piece of my mind. I always did a good job, a great job, an excellent job. And we worked together. I worked with him through navigating uh, so that he could excel at what it is that he was trying to do. So don't burn your bridges because you never know when you have to cross them again. Be careful how you treat people because you never know when you're going to need that person. And then continue networking. There are, um, I think, one of the biggest um, business networking platforms right now that I know of is LinkedIn. So always keep your LinkedIn updated. 
and you can go on LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn, create a profile and it walks you through the steps of how to upload your resume and how to fill out your about section and it will link you with other professionals that are in your same field. And a lot of companies use LinkedIn to see what your qualifications are and see what it is that you're currently doing um, and things like that. So also be careful what you're posting on social media because companies watch your social media and uh, when they're doing background checks, they'll also check your social media. And this I do know, I work in the human resources department and there's some things that I am privy to, some things I can share, some things I can't share. So this one I can definitely share. So that's I, some, that's came across my mind um, before I edit this video and I wanted to just throw that in there too. So thank you all. You have a wonderful and blessed day on purpose. It's Drina from Drina's Haven 916 and Alternative Life Solutions. You have a wonderful, wonderful morning to see another beautiful day. It's Monday and Monday is the um, beginning of the week, uh, usually typically the beginning of the work week. Over the weekend, many things have happened uh, to us, for us, and with us. Some things we can control and some things that we cannot control. Whoever's listening to this message right now, you this may not be for you right now, but like I always say, use it like a credit card. Put it in your back pocket, pull it out, use it, save it for later, share it with a friend or whatever. <sighs> Things happen. Life happens. And you know I call those life changes and daily hassles. And when I say some things we can control, well, there are some things that we cannot control. So it would be beneficial for you to focus on those things that you can control. Life can cause, life changes and daily hassles can cause stress. Stress is a killer. You do not want to be stressed. You do not want to find yourself in a position where you are stressing. You don't want to be around people who stress you out. You don't want to be in situations that cause you to have stress. Now, let me tell you the difference between stress and pressure. Pressure is okay. A little pressure is okay because lights a fire up under your butt when you are um, challenged with a situation. Some of you who are listening to this message right now received news over the weekend last week, last month, or uh, even today or this morning that a loved one passed away, that a loved one uh, received diagnosis of an illness, or you perhaps have received diagnosis of an illness or a potential illness, or you may be experiencing symptoms of some type of illness. Some of you receive news that you don't have a job anymore. You don't, or your job is ending. All of these things that happen, do you know, do you not know that I always say nothing is so bad that it can't be worse and that God has solutions to problems that you haven't even had yet? This is not my first rodeo. This is not your first rodeo. In my natural self, outside of my spiritual lens, I'm like, oh snap, what am I going to do? Let me tell you something. Don't put yourself too far into the future. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow have enough worries of its own. But that don't mean that we don't plan for tomorrow. We have to plan for our future. I did a video the other day about goals. Goals without plans are just dreams. So we set our goals and then we put a plan in motion. What does that look like for me? What does that look like for you, Adrena? That looks like, uh, yeah, step your game up. Step up your game. 
whatever uh, profession that you are in, whether you are a YouTuber or you are a, um, you're in the field of education, you're in the uh, field of healthcare, you're a content creator or whatever, whatever the case may be, you can always do better. You can always step your game up. You can all, you're gonna have to level up because competition is out there. Now for my brown sisters and my brown brothers, we have to do extra, unfortunately. And this is not a race thing. This is a human thing. This is just life and how it is. And I've always taught my children that you have to do more. You can't just do the bare minimum. You have to go above and beyond. I would always tell them, you know, you have to pull your grades up. You're gonna have to study harder. You're gonna have to um, take extra classes. You're gonna have to do summer school, not because you're failing, but because you wanna always make sure that you're ahead of the game that she would never get an award at an award ceremony and you know she would cry sometimes like mommy why do I never get an award at the award ceremony and I told her listen baby girl your time is going to come you just keep on keeping on don't give up don't slack off and don't let anybody tell you that you are not smart that you are not intelligent because you know why because you've done the work you have done the work we have to do the work nothing is going to fall out of the sky and God is not going to speak to us through a burning bush those days are over believing in God is one aspect of moving forward in your purpose you're gonna have to have faith and you're gonna have to have the type of faith that takes, meaning you have to take the steps to increase your faith. You have to put yourself out there. Like my sis girl, Deidre, Deidre Curry, she, she has a saying and it's, be, it's, it's like be bold. Be bold, be beautiful, and put yourself out there. So you have to put yourself out there. I have to put myself out there. I need to market myself. I need to get extra certifications. I need to level up my education. Okay, so yes, I have a bachelor's degree. Okay, I started my master's program and then fell off. But then in hindsight, you look back, I look back and I'm like, dang, if I would have just continued with the program, I could have been done by now sometimes we get comfortable and we get complacent so let's not be complacent let's not get too comfortable because situations change the only thing that is consistent in life sisters and brothers is change you don't have to embrace change i'm involved with a program right now called ocm which stands for organizational change management and it's huge a lot of these huge companies, including AT&T, have adopted organizational change management, workforce management, human capital management, the agile and safe uh, mentality, scrum alliance. So if you wanna level up, and you're in corporate, those are just some suggestions. Get your certification. Get a Scrum Master certification. As overseer of huge projects. I'm talking three, four, five year long projects that companies invest. And they have moved from the waterfall mentality over to the agile mindset. If you don't know what your gifts, talents, and abilities are, then you can pray about it and then you need to get with someone who can help you understand what your gifts, talents, and abilities are because they will work for you. My creator is bigger than any situation that I could ever worry about. Don't worry. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. You don't have to feel bad about praying 
when things are not going so swell. Sometimes uh, the enemy wants us to feel guilty because we only find ourselves praying when something's going wrong or something is bad or, you know, that's a trick of the enemy. Don't worry about that. You pray all day, every day without ceasing. You don't have to pray out loud. You can pray in your, in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul. I want you to take this and marinate on it. Take whatever golden nuggets that you can and know that everything is going to be all right and that stress is not good and worrying is not okay it's like a rocking chair it's not going anywhere so turn that stress into pressure because pressure will evoke challenge and it's good to be challenged because you will level up